I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about volumes by slicing. In problem number 19, we'd like to use the disk method to find the volume of the solid generated when the region bounded by y equals e to the negative x, y equals 0, x equals 0, and x equals ln of 4 is revolved about the x-axis. So to start this problem, let's just get a feel for what this shape looks like before we start trying to find the volume. So we should always draw a picture first, if possible, of what we're trying to revolve. And so we've got four curves that are bounding my region. First one is y equals e to the negative x, which looks something like this. All right. Uh, second one is y equals 0. By the way, this is y equals e to the minus x. We've got x equals 0, which is the y-axis. This is x equals 0. We've got um, y equals 0, uh, which is the x-axis. This is y equals 0. And then finally, we have x equals ln of 4. So somewhere up here is the point ln of 4. And here's x equals ln of 4. Okay, so we've got these four curves. They bound this region right here. And then we want to take that region and spin it around the x-axis. Okay, so if we take that region and we spin it around the x-axis, then we should get something that looks like something like this. Okay, or cross sections of this thing are not surprisingly disks. So cross sections at every point of this thing is a disk, and so it's very well named the disk method. Okay, so we're using the disk method to figure out this thing's volume, and what we want to do is we want to integrate this thing to find its volume, uh, starting at where we start chopping the disks and ending at where we stop chopping disks. Now, I start chopping my disks at x equals 0, and I stop chopping my disks when x is equal to ln of 4. So we want to start chopping at 0, stop chopping at ln of 4. Okay, so start and stop, and then we have the disk method, and in the disk method, every cross-sectional area is a circle, and so what's the area of a circle? We know the area of a circle is pi r squared, and so we get pi r squared in here. Well, what is r? It's the radius of one of these disks. So if I'm setting here at a point x, what's the radius of this disk? Well, it's the functional value. The radius of one disk here is the functional value e to the negative x. So what I want here is the radius is e to the negative x, and I want to square that, dx. And it's always a good idea to check, does this make sense? I know that I want circles or my cross sections, so pi r squared, pi r squared. So that's what goes inside. We're all set up. This should give me the volume that I'm looking for. Okay. The first thing I could do is let's just get the pi outside of the integral. It's a constant, so I can move it outside. So I have pi times the integral from 0 to ln of 4 of e. If I have an exponent raised to an exponent, I just multiply those exponents. So it's just e to the negative 2x dx. All right. So now I could take an antiderivative here. I still have pi on the outside, and the antiderivative of e to the negative 2x would be minus 1 half e to the negative 2x, and that's going to be evaluated from 0 to ln of 4. Okay, we can plug things in. Uh, if I wanted to, I could pull the negative 1 half out first. Why not? Let's do it. So I got minus 1 half times pi 
times e to the negative 2x evaluated from 0 to ln of 4. So I get minus pi over 2 times, if I plug in ln of 4, I get e to the negative 2 times ln of 4. Let me just write that in for now. e to the negative 2 ln 4 minus, plug in 0, and I get e to the 0. All right, I still have negative pi over 2. Um, so what's e to the negative 2 ln 4? Uh, by the power rule, I can bring that power negative 2 up as the exponent of the 4. If I do, I get ln of 4 to the negative 2. 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 16. So I get e to the ln of 1 16th, which is otherwise known as 1 16th. Then I get minus e to the 0, which is minus 1. Okay? So I've got negative pi over 2 times 1 16th minus 1, which is otherwise known as negative 15 over 16. The negatives cancel, and I'm just left with uh, 15 pi divided by 32. So that's how many units cubed of volume would be in this shape.